So you just bought the brand new iPhone 14 and now you're looking for accessories for your brand new phone. Well, I've got a bunch of must have accessories to get for your new phone, starting with the Loom Cube Panel Go. This is one of my favorite lights ever. In fact, it's the current light that I use whenever I travel. It's small, lightweight, it's portable, it's really bright, but you can control the intensity of the light by using the LCD menu in the back. It has a nice soft silicone diffuser for soft lighting, very nice. So not only is it a bicolor light, but it's also an RGB light as well. Check this out. It's gonna just cycle through the different colors. You got purple, pink, red, green, blue, all the colors. You can even use lighting effects and presets built inside the light. Like for example, you got this cool looping of colors effect. We got lightning fire, ooh, sizzly, and even siren. Just an overall a really, really cool light. And yeah, just one of my favorite lights to have. And if you wanna check it out, links will be down below as well as the other products that I'll mention in this video. But now let's move on to the second accessory that you should get for your iPhone 14. And that is of course, a tripod. And the tripod that I recommend is the Joby HandyPod. This is actually a really cool tabletop tripod. It's small, it's lightweight, you can pack into any camera bag. It also includes this phone mount uh, adapter, which you can also detach if you want to. It's just a typical quarter 20 screw that you can actually attach to an ordinary mirrorless camera. But I really like the size of this particular tripod because I think it's the perfect size for the iPhone 14. I've got the 13 Pro right now, so I'm just gonna show you how it works. You just attach it to uh, the phone mount just like so. And there's a button over here where you can adjust the position of your phone. And if you're making TikToks, no problem. Just simply press down on this button over here. And then now you can film vertical content wherever you go. But if you don't really want a tripod like this, you kind of want something more minimal. There is a little tripod that I recommend and it's from Peak Design. This is a tripod. This is the Peak Design uh, mobile tripod. And I know it doesn't look like a, a tripod right now. I'll show you how it works in a second. But what's really cool about this mount is that it uses MagSafe connection on the back of your phone. Like, look how cool that is. And then there's like legs that pop out. So put that on a table, put that on the ground. And now you can set your phone and film vertical content. Or if you want, you can just use this stand for like Zoom calls or FaceTimes or whatever. But definitely more minimal than the Joby HandyPod. And look, it just folds in on itself like that. Like, look how cool that is. Like, such a small footprint, so minimal. I totally dig it. And so if you're more of a minimal content creator and you don't really want to carry a big old tripod, even though this isn't really a big tripod, the Peak Design mobile tripod is probably the tripod for you. It's, it's really cool. Oh man, three items down and I'm already breathless. All right, so the next accessory that you should get if you want to level up your filmmaking game with the iPhone 14 is the Polar Pro Light Chaser Pro Kit. Now it's not available right now, but I did speak with them earlier and they are working on it. It should be available really soon. The Light Chaser Pro Kits in the past have been amazing if you want this all-in-one rugged filmmaking kit. You've got the very rugged light chaser case. You've got the wireless grip with the Bluetooth record button. Very cool. And of course, the Polar Pro filter system, which you can use specific Polar Pro filters with your iPhone. Like these shots right here were filmed with the iPhone 13 Pro with several of Polar Pro's filters. And so if you're looking for more of an all-in-one filmmaking rig, then definitely check out the Polar Pro Light Chaser Pro Kit. All right, so this next one is actually a really cool item. This is the Ulanzi Creator Desk Mount. I, I don't know the official name of it, but basically it's an all-in-one mount that can attach your phone to this little arm over here. And there's also this little ring light that you can use. It's really, really cool. Let's get my phone. I'm just gonna go ahead and just attach it over here to the phone mount, just like that. Or I guess it would make sense to have the, the front facing camera. There we go. You can have it horizontal, you can have it vertical. And then with a USB cable, you can actually power the LED lights and uh, control the intensity and all that stuff. Hold on, let me show you. There you, go. there you go. How cool is that? So if you're like not interested in like expensive studio lights, like you just kind of want a simple one mount setup if you're doing makeup tutorials or if you're doing content like soups or Carter PCs, this is probably gonna be the ultimate desk rig for your iPhone 14. It's that cool. There's like just so many accessories now for iPhones. Like you can like film anything now. The next accessory that I recommend to step up your filmmaking game with the iPhone 14 is this really cool chest strap. It's just a really cool way to strap your iPhone if you want to do POV shots, like hiking or chasing your kids with a spatula. Get over here, get over here. Just kidding. I, I don't chase my kids with a spatula. Get over here. I chase them get with two. Here. And another mount that I recommend for your iPhone 14 is of course a car mount. Having a car mount is just Cool, but this is a really cool car mount, super cute, super compact, really easy to use. Just simply attach it to your windshield, press down on the suction button, position the phone mount how you want, and then simply attach your phone. And now you can film POV driving shots. Pro tip though, if you wanna film driving shots, make sure to clean the windshield because you don't wanna see dirt and splotches and bugs on the windshield. So just take it to a car wash. And also not so pro tip, 
film the car wash because it's fun. But if you're more interested in filming those sweeping cinematic shots, then of course you have to use a phone gimbal. And I know the iPhone 14 has action mode, which is pretty much this gimbal-like stabilization just built within the camera itself. It is cropped, however, so you're not taking advantage of the full width of the camera. And if you wanna use the full width of the camera, then you gotta use a traditional phone gimbal. And the phone gimbal that I recommend is the Zhiyun Smooth Q4. I love this gimbal. It's lightweight, it's super easy to use. It folds in on itself packs into any camera bag. And I don't know, it's just kind of really handy to have just a gimbal in your camera backpack when the need for a gimbal shot is required. And speaking of cinematic shots, a, another device that helps you film those sweeping cinematic movements is not a gimbal, but a slider. Now this slider has been around for a while. This is the Rhino Rove Pro, a slider that I've been using for many years now. And still my favorite slider of all time. It's incredibly rugged, has this phone mount that you can attach pretty much any phone to. There's no like physical buttons to actually move the gimbal itself, even though I wish there was physical buttons. But with the Rove Motion app, you can control how fast or slow the, the slider can go. Check this out. Easy, right? Again, I wish there was like physical buttons because I'd much rather not use an app, but still really smooth cinematic movements with a slider and definitely a slider that I recommend not just for your iPhone, but for all cameras. Like I use this slider with my Sony a7S III and a7 IV with heavy lenses. And if this slider can support heavy camera setups, then of course it'll support a small device like an iPhone. We are getting through this. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh here it is. I'm gonna place this over here because I found the other accessory that I recommend if you wanna step up your filmmaking game with the iPhone 14. This is the Small Rig Universal Phone Cage. I recommend this before in the past. And what I love about this cage is that it's adjustable. So it doesn't matter how small your phone is like it could be the, the iPhone Pro Max is that the biggest one iPhone 14 Pro Max you can use the iPhone 14 you can even still use iPhone 13 mini if you want to whatever size phone you have just place your phone into the the mount right over here and now you have a cage for your phone there's even cold shoe mounts over here if you want to attach accessories like a microphone a light I even attached this small rig mini top handle it doesn't come included with the cage I got this separately and no in fact it was a gift from small rig but having this top handle is just a really cool way to to hold this this whole setup makes me makes me feel cinematic but yeah it's a great cage to use on the field on location or just to have in your studio however you want to use it like this is just a great cage to have for all sorts of content creation. Now you can't make a good video without having a good microphone and the microphone that I recommend is the same microphone I recommended last year and that's a Deity D4 Duo. This has a two capsule mic so it can record audio from the front or the back with a simple flip of a switch and it's incredibly affordable for all creators. Just make sure to use the, the stereo to lightning adapter to connect to your phone because the iPhone 14 doesn't have a headphone jack so if you want to use that mic then make sure to get that adapter but it's a great mic captures really good audio but if you want to step it up even further with audio, like you wanna go wireless, then the wireless mic system that I recommend is the DJI mic. Now you might be thinking, well, wait a minute, isn't this mic like meant for DSLR and mirrorless cameras? Well, yeah, you can definitely use it, but there is a lightning adapter that you can use to attach the receiver to your phone. Here it is right over here. And all I have to do is just take out this little clip from the receiver, attach the adapter just like so, and now I can connect it to my phone just like so. Easy. And then with the transmitters, whether you connect it to a lav or just use the microphone on the actual transmitters itself, you can now record audio wirelessly and record at a distance if you want to do so. But this has been my favorite wireless mic system and something that I recommend for all creators, not just for iPhone 14 users, but if you have a mirrorless camera, I highly recommend getting this wireless mic system if you want. And speaking of the wireless game, you have to have a wireless charger for your iPhone 14. And since you are all filmmakers, you of course, edit on your computer. Right now, this is my desktop setup and right over here is my wireless charging desk pad. In this corner over here, I have a wireless charger where I can place my iPhone just like so, a green light will pop up telling me that the phone is charging. This is really great because obviously editing takes a long time and as you're editing, you may as well charge your phone. And so yeah, this is a really great wireless charging desk pad. Not only is it comfortable for your arms, but I love the fact that you can charge your wireless devices in the left corner. But if you are a filmmaker 
on the go, then you gotta have a wireless charger. And the one that I recommend is from Anchor. This is the older version. This is the MagSafe wireless charger. There is another version with a kickstand, and so you can actually use it as a stand and place it on the on the tray of an airplane seat and watch Netflix or whatever. But if you wanna charge your iPhone, just simply connect it to the MagSafe connection in the back, just like so, and now your phone is charging. And so, yeah, it's a really good device, and you don't even have to charge it through the MagSafe connector. You can like plug it in. There's a USB-C port uh, right over here on the side. Really great charger for all you travelers out there, but if you're gonna get one of these chargers, then get the one with uh, the kickstand. Like having that little kickstand is so useful. And if you are a seasoned traveler, then most likely you'll be binging content on Netflix or listening to music on Spotify. And if that sounds like you, then you wanna be able to listen to that type of content with some good earbuds. And the earbuds that I recommend are of course, the Sony Link Buds S. This is actually a customized case uh, that I got in New York. Here they are. These are the best earbuds ever. Like I like them better than AirPods. Like no joke, they are that good. The noise cancellation is amazing. They feel really comfortable. They come in black, also white, and just easily pairs with my iPhone. And so yeah, if you are a traveler like me, then definitely grab some reliable earbuds like the Sony Link Buds S. And the last accessory that I recommend are really more for filmmakers that, that travel a lot. And it's this, whoop, calm down, it's, it's fine. It's this. What is it? Well, this is an airplane seats phone holder to help you watch content on your phone hands-free. It's really cool. It's adjustable. Here's the actual phone mount itself. Let me just place it over here just to show you. There it is right there. And this little hook over here, if you push it, that'll grab onto the back of an airplane seat. And now you can watch Netflix or Disney Plus on your phone hands-free. It's really cool. It's probably my favorite phone accessory of all the things I talked about today. Like every time I place this in the back of an airplane seat, like people turn their heads and be like, whoa, where'd you get that from? And I'm like, let me send you an affiliate link. But a great way to watch content hands-free on your phone if you are a traveler slash filmmaker like me. And ladies and gentlemen, those are all the accessories that I recommend for your brand new iPhone 14. If you have any questions at all about any of these products, let me know in the comments below. If you have any products that you recommend yourself, then by all means, comment down below as well. But that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy your brand new iPhone 14, and I'll see you in the next one.